Welcome to Annie's House by Sustaining Way, located in the historic Nickeltown community in Greenville, South Carolina. My name is Rick Joy, and I'm the founder of Sustaining Way. We really appreciate you joining us today so we can tour you around. First, what we do. Sustaining Way empowers individuals and communities to cultivate a sustainable and equitable future. We do this through education, collaboration, and workforce people development ultimately striving to build a thriving, sustainable community and environment. So what does that mean? It means that we are empowering youth, adults, and organizations to implement practices and strategies, including systems change and activism, that will improve our lives, the lives of our children, and our grandchildren. So we said sustainability a few times, but what is sustainability? At Sustaining Way, we try to keep things simple and practical. For something to be sustainable, it must have the following three components. Caring for people, including providing for people's basic needs. Caring for the environment and affordability. We need all these for Greenville and for communities all over the planet to thrive. Without any one of these components, we set ourselves and our planet up for failure, either now or in the future. Specifically, we break sustainability down into six areas, food and landscape, energy and energy efficiency, consumption and waste, healthy lifestyles, environmental sustainability, and social sustainability. So now I would like to introduce you to Alicia Brewster, our program director, who will take you on the rest of the tour. Hi, I'm Alicia, and I'm so glad that you're here with us today. We have several programs for youth and for adults, but today we're gonna to talk about our first program and the program that makes everything else possible. Seeing and experiencing what is possible is absolutely essential for all of us to develop a shared vision of what a sustainable future might look like. Annie's House allows us to show, to teach, and to work hand in hand with our neighbors. Annie's House serves as Sustaining Way's base of operations, an educational demonstration site, and it's home to the men and women in our coordinator de leadership development program. Annie's House demonstrates a variety of sustainable practices in each of the six areas of sustainability that were previously mentioned. We're so excited to have the opportunity to show you around. So come on in and Michelle is going to take it from here. Hi, I'm Michelle and I'm the Sustainability Education Coordinator and welcome to Annie's house. Here are some photos of an old house and backyard where the garden is now. The old home was a dilapidated property that was an eyesore for the entire community. The backyard was overgrown and people often dumped their trash. And it took a lot to build what you see here today. There were over 20 organizations involved in the design and construction of Annie's house. And community members even volunteered in the construction. Genesis Homes, a local affordable provider, housing provider, has partnered with us to take learnings from Annie's house and incorporate into future builds. Annie's house incorporates affordable affordability, energy efficiency, and other sustainable concepts in the design. One such concept are the structural insulated panels, or SIPs, as you can see here. And this is a high performance building material. Um, it is made by a local company and was used in the construction of the walls in Annie's house. They can be compared to Legos, and which allowed us to put up the walls in a single day. Um, this also allowed us to engage our community members and volunteers in the construction and also helping reduce construction labor costs. So SIPs are up to 60% higher energy efficiency and do not degrade over time like many other forms of insulation. They also result in a structure that is quieter, stronger, and more comfortable. And Oscar will take it from here. Hi, I'm Oscar Bennett. I'm the executive coordinator here at Sustaining Way. I'm here to tell you about a few energy efficiency features uh, that we use here. We use this to understand how we use our energy. Annie's house uses solar power to create its energy. On average, Annie's house is a net zero home, which means we create as much or more energy than we use. Also here at Annie's house, we use LED lights in all our light fixtures because they last longer and require less energy to operate. LED lights, are 50% better than CFL lights and 90% better than incandescent lights. Let's go downstairs to the multi-purpose room. Okay. 
this is our multi-purpose room. Uh, this is an open design which allows flexibility and usage. We use this for gardening products and chicken use, for storing food, and for uh, indoor classrooms such as presentations and videos. And now we're gonna take it over to Danielle. Hi, my name is Danielle Parks and I'm the Sustainable Agriculture Coordinator. Rather than just food production, the primary purpose of the garden is to serve as an outdoor classroom. But we are always learning different ways to produce more with less, with less work. That is not our primary goal. Now let's head out to the garden. In this house, there is a prioritization of food distribution. First, the food we produce in the garden is given to those who serve in our programs and to community members. With an equitable approach, we sell to Nicotown residents at a lower price than grocery stores. An additional food that might otherwise go bad is donated. We also have terraces which were installed to reduce erosion and the harmful impacts of stormwater runoff. Also notice the berms and swalls along the walkway, they also reduce the impact of erosion. We have regular composting and verma composting, and our food forest includes muscadines, blueberries, and fruit trees. We have chickens, 15 laying hens, and our chicken coop was built from savage wood from the prior house. Since chickens are omnivores, any extra or leftover produce can be fed to chickens. By feeding chickens more food from the garden, less chicken feed needs to be purchased, thus saving money. Sustainability has many faces. We recognized that we needed an art centerpiece to bring everyone together and to show people and to help explain what we are really all about. So we partnered with local artists, the Phyllis Wheatley Center and the Nicoltown Neighborhood Association to have community youth make drawings based on a quote by the renowned scientist George Washington Carver, where there is no vision, there is no hope. Along with research about George Washington Carver and about Annie's house in a sustaining way and our mission, over 60 youth submitted art pieces and four of them were included in this installation. This shows the connection between our future generation and our hope. Thanks for joining us.